Finding Doc Martens secondhand just like does not happen. Alexis Sunshine 83, it's always sunny here. Boop. Hey Sunshiners, like Sunshine 83 here. Hello, hello, happy Wednesday, water's up. Now one thing that, that I really love to do is to look up like projected trends of a certain season or you know that season's popular trends that are trendy and try to thrift them because in most cases most trends have already happened they're just almost being recycled back and so instead of purchasing new items that are that trend you could potentially get secondhand items that are also that trend and it also kind of helps me step outside my comfort zone and try you know trends that I may not be completely in love with but then I try them and I'm like oh I do like this. And of course, obviously wear whatever the heck you want, even if it's out of style, it really does not matter. But yeah, I ended up going to Plato's Closet, Goodwill. I do have something from Poshmark. I have something from ThreadUp. I got an array of different avenues of thrifting. Let's talk about some 2020 fall fashion trends. So the first thing I ended up getting, which I've been really into like smart style, I don't know, just more professional looking clothes, which is so surprising because a year ago, I like was the opposite. I didn't want to look professional. It kind of scared me a bit because I felt like I looked like an adult, even though I mean, I am an adult. I am just really into more tailored pants, you know, blazers. I really like structured pants over denim. Love me some denim, but with it being so hot and wanting to wear pants, wearing jeans is just way too difficult. So I've been kind of swapping that out for, you know, linen or, you know, just different textured pants. And I saw these and I just am so obsessed and they fit me, which is amazing. I did wash everything obviously so I do have the like tag off but these were six dollars and 99 cents they're from Goodwill but the original reason why I kind of gravitated toward these pants is because they're beige and one of the fall fashion trends this year is gonna be beige it was like full-on beige clothing which I have never really been into beige, but now I've grown to really like neutrals and specifically kind of this beige. And I'm thinking of pairing it with like a tan beige sweater top. I think that would be really cute. I like that it is kind of that lighter brown. So it is still fall because you know, it's the browns, but it's not going too heavy into a deep type brown. And they fit actually really amazing. Surprisingly, it's not see-through, which I really thought it would. White pants and like beige and tan, I've always been really scared about because I'm scared you could like see my underwear which I mean it really doesn't matter but is Jacqueline Smith they have pockets but they also don't have pockets somebody said in my last video because it has pockets but then the pockets are like sewn up so I can just take my seam ripper and unseen them you made pockets but then you you sewed them why? I'm totally on board. I am really, really surprised. I never would have thought I would be a beige gal. This next one, it's not a trend, but like I really wanted it. And I have a lot of t-shirts. I love my t-shirts, but I've just been wanting to go like, you know, something like this, just very like simple. And although this is just as basic as it goes, there's absolutely nothing wrong with being basic and having basics clothing. This one, it is originally from Hanes, but I got it at Goodwill and it's just a really nice black t-shirt. The thing I like about it is the sleeve is not like a full on sleeve. So I could like fold it and it almost kind of looks like a muscle tee in a way. And it's in a medium, which is surprising. I usually would go for more of like a large t-shirt, but I really wanted something that did fit me like properly and that I could wear with like structured pants or even just like denim or something and it was five dollars and 99 cents and just a good black t-shirt and I love it it is a rougher fabric so it's not that like thin like tight fitting women fabric which I never understand it's just a nice structured type fabric it's literally not that amazing but I really I really enjoy it this next one I feel like will be no surprise to anyone of its growth in popularity recently which is the tennis pleated skirt. I feel like everyone owns one nowadays and I feel like they used to also all own it a couple of years ago. Now there are so many different like knockoffs, but I definitely wanted a specifically American apparel one. And so I searched on Depop, I searched on ThreadUp, I searched on Poshmark and I finally found one. And I feel like because so many people already owned it that it's pretty easy to find secondhand. Although some people are really racking up the prices of it because they know it's like a popular item right now. But I did end up finding this on 
Poshmark for $45, which is, I mean, it's not that great of a deal, but in the fact that, you know, this style, I've honestly seen everyone wear it recently. And skirts are one of those things that I'm trying to get more used to. I feel like I've been saying that for the past two years, but specifically short skirts are kind of like, ooh, I don't know. And when I got it, and even now, I'm still trying to figure out a way to style it where I feel just comfortable because the first time I styled it, I was like, I look like I'm trying to be 15 years old and I am definitely not 15. Now, the reason why I feel like this is kind of a popular trend right now is because specifically preppy like style clothing is very on trend. It was in every single like 2020 fall fashion trends that I found. And I feel like that's kind of how it is every year. I do wish I got it in black. I got it in white originally because everyone peer pressure basically. I did get in a small, which originally, okay, I did buy one from Depop first and I got it in a medium. I measured myself and everything and it seemed like it would be a perfect fit, but it, it was like too big. So I ended up selling that on my Poshmark and then I purchased this one, which was a small and it does fit me. It just doesn't fit like a high waist that I thought it was gonna fit. Maybe it's just like my proportions or something, but American Apparel is literally everywhere on Poshmark and Depop and ThreadUp. Like do not buy it new, find it secondhand. I guarantee you, you can find it. It is very flattering though. It's very cute. It really is very cute. I just have to find a better way to style it to suit my style. The next couple items I did purchase from ThreadUp, I literally purchased them like a month ago. One trend that, or two kind of trends that I think go with this next item, jewel tones and kind of more of a metallic like satin look. And I feel like this next piece goes perfectly with that. It was $19.99 is originally from Zara. It isn't a small and it is just this really, oh my gosh, I actually really like it. It matches my chair absolutely perfect, but it kind of is a little bit, it's not a halter, but I feel like it's such a delicate top and you can go so many different ways with this. You can go more casual, you can go more dressy. I mostly picked this up because of the material. This like metallic style is a fall trend and it definitely makes sense. I think it also can go into winter as well when we're talking about like the holidays and like gold, which isn't it crazy that like October is so close. It's crazy kind of depressing and also like happiness. I don't know. There's just so many emotions. But going back to the clothing item, it kind of gives a little bit of a square neck, which I also still very much love and is still a trend, which I am very down with. And it is a little bit like a crop top, but not too crop. With it being a small, it just fits perfect. It's not too loose. It's not too big. It is just a really great shirt. And honestly, for $19, I do feel because of the fabric and what great condition it is in, I think it's totally worth it. This one I also got from ThreadUp and I feel like you're either gonna love it or you're gonna hate it. And I'm kind of in the middle, to be honest. I thought I was gonna love it more, but I think this specific style, I just, I, I don't love. I need to find a different like variation of it. But a trend that I think really started a year ago when people started to get into slip dresses and wearing sleepwear as casual wear, which I feel like, you know, I understand it's a hot topic. People have very intense opinions. I am all for it. One thing that has come out of that that I feel like has become very popular are like corset tops, like true almost like lingerie as casual wear. When I found this on ThreadUp, I was like, okay, this kind of goes into that style of being lace and kind of being like lingerie, but you can wear it in a casual way. I'm still trying to figure that out. But this one was originally from Boohoo. I got it for $14.99 on ThreadUp and it is like a proper like lace bodysuit. So it's not necessarily lingerie, but I feel like the top portion definitely gives that vibe. It does say that it is in a size six. It is a little bit loose on me. That's the only thing. I feel like it's just the boob area because like nothing going on there. I feel like if it was a proper like lingerie piece, it would have either like an underwire to really like lift them up and it doesn't have that, which may be really good to be more casual. And I think also wearing it on top of like a t-shirt would be really interesting. And this specific one, I just don't think it kind of executed the way that I wanted it to be executed, but that is kind of the trend of this being a more wearable option than wearing like a proper corset. Of course, it's not everyone's cup of tea and you can implement it in any way you want or don't at all. This one I am so excited about because number one, I also waited a really long time for it to come in the mail. Shipping right now with a lot of things going on has been obviously slow, which is totally all good, but I'm so excited. Number one, they fit and they came and they are perfect. They are some 
high like rise boots they are so cute i am absolutely obsessed with them and the reason why i was really excited about them is because the heel is a lot chunkier so if you guys also saw my like goodie box i did a week ago on wednesday from like thread up they had sent me some knee high boots and although i loved the style of them that heel was like a kitten heel and it just was not good for a clumsy gal like me and so these they're perfect. I don't feel like I'm going to fall. They have a little bit more of a square like top to it, which I actually really like. I think it gives it a very like sleek casual look and they were $43.99, which definitely is, you know, kind of expensive for shoes. I have a lot of difficulty finding shoes secondhand that fits me. I just have really weird feet. And so when I find a shoe that I actually really like that secondhand and then ends up fitting it's just amazing and i had to kind of jump on it and i'm so happy that i did moving on to the things i got from plato's closet i first want to start with this one because i said recently i probably wouldn't thrift any sweaters this fall and i still kind of stand by that but then i saw this one and it was on sale it was originally ten dollars and i got it for five dollars it's just so beautiful i love green so much and i don't think i own any green sweaters so i feel like this one's a little bit different so it's okay and it is originally from deep sugar it isn't a large and it's just really beautiful it's a very interesting like fabric it almost looks distressed on purpose and i kind of like because then if it gets caught on something or it gets like torn up somehow i don't know maybe autumn attacks it it'll be okay because it's supposed to look like that and this color is just so beautiful i was just thinking this then like tucked in is such a pretty look and i just i love it so much i think emerald green is my favorite green and it's not itchy which is really really nice it's not too soft either which is kind of a pet peeve of mine when it comes to sweaters when they're just too soft i just want it to be right in the middle and this one is right in the middle and it's very beautiful and Again, I know I said that I wasn't going to thrift any sweaters, but I had to make an exception. I don't make the rules, I had to do it. So I feel like this is another trend that won't be a surprise to anyone, and that is puff sleeve blouses. They've been kind of around in about the past like year or so, and they're still going strong. This like puff sleeve square neck, again, I am so into. If I could just own like puff sleeve things, I would be super happy. And finding it secondhand was such a struggle for such a long time, and they are finally getting them pretty sure i got it for 11 dollars. but this is originally from forever 21 it wasn't a small and it's this really just cute like mustard yellow puff sleeve it is a like toned down yellow i think it's just you know been around for a bit it's been washed a bunch of times and so it is a little bit more of a wash color but i think it still does look quite vibrant the material kind of looks like a sweater material so it also goes in kind of perfectly into fall and yeah really into this trend really like this color this one kind of like jumps off of that pretty perfectly which i didn't even realize how much yellow i have in this video but this yellow tank top i'm pretty sure it was eight dollars it is originally from h m it isn't a small and it's just like this sweater halter top and i love it so much and it is kind of like a sweater material as well this color is so fall it just reminds me of like yellow leaves which do leaves do leaves become yellow i'm pretty sure that they do as someone in southern california i've only experienced fall once and that was last year when i went to portland and so i'm just kind of guessing but it reminds me of fall I I think it's such a vibrant color actually like if we look at this yellow versus this yellow this is so vibrant and very in your face okay i can't find this next one i'm just gonna assume that it, it was 14 dollars, which definitely is a lot for a skirt especially secondhand but i i really really love it and it fits really nicely it isn't a small so it is a little bit short it just reminds me of fall and winter and look at that material again it goes into that metallic trend for fall and i just when i saw it i was like yeah like totally i was thinking even this with the longer boots would be so cute and i just really like this color i don't know what color it is i don't know it's not is it brown is it like a burnt orange but then it has like champagne vibe to it but it's not pink so it's not like a pink champagne is is champagne pink i don't know i've 
never drank it before. It gives a very nice like glammy type of look and I think you can really mix some textures with it. I could wear a sweater with it as well even if it like peeked out at the bottom if I wanted to wear the sweater like untucked or something. I'm just really excited about it and I'm so happy it fits because I didn't try it on because the dressing rooms are closed obviously right now. Again I already washed it too and it's in great condition. This one I believe I got for $13 and it wasn't necessarily on the trends list but I've seen this on Pinterest and Instagram and even I like thrift flipped a satin top to make it into basically this and it is originally from Nasty Gal. It is in a zero which is very interesting. I don't think I've ever owned anything that's in a size zero but it is quite stretchy so I think that's why it does fit. Just looks like this. It okay I feel like you can't really see it but if you remember when Reformation wasn't as problematic they had these type of tops where it had like the elastic and different like lines kind of reminds me of a mushroom for some reason i just think these tops are very flattering i do like that it is in a black because i feel like it's more wearable it does have the ties very easy to wear especially right now with it being so hot it is black so i feel like oh i'm kind of in the fall spirit because i'm wearing that dark color now one fall trend that i did see quite a lot is like faux fur faux shearling style like jackets and i have like a faux shearling sheer i don't know what the material sherpa something like that i have a jacket that i got like four years ago from princess polly but like i i love that jacket i will have it for many more years it is just amazing so i didn't really see a need to try to find like a faux fur jacket for this video because i was like well that jacket is basically the trend but then I saw this at Plato's Closet yesterday. It was $25, which is kind of crazy, especially because it's originally from Forever 21, but I love it so much. It's a different color than my other one, so I feel like it's still okay. And I find a lot of these type jackets are originally from like Shein and Zaffle, and like the material that they use is so terrible. I was really surprised that the material is actually quite nice. It doesn't really like shed. I really like the color. Okay, I can't show you like perfectly here, but you'll see in the try on portion. Look at this color. It literally is a a burnt like wood that's what it reminds me of burnt wood I don't think that's a color but I'm gonna say it's a color I I really really love the actual fit of it it isn't a large but it fits honestly more like a medium don't know when I'm gonna wear it I mean I feel like January February the weather kind of gets cold here so I feel like I will be able to wear it then and I had to save the best for last and it's not necessarily a like fall trend personally i feel like these boots are trendy all year round which they are some doc martens that i got second hand that's only happened to me i think twice in my entire like past three years of thrifting i went to play this closet originally i think i returned some pants that i had gotten for this video but then i tried them on at home and they didn't fit so i went back to return them i just happened to pass these and i was like gosh darn it i wasn't gonna buy anything and i just i had to especially because i put them on they're totally different than any other doc martens that i own these beautiful babies i've already disinfected them as well they are just so fall look at this color i don't usually really love the doc martin like soft leather ones but these ones are very broken in and they're just so comfy. They are the Pascal, so they would be $150 regularly. The like kind of grunginess of like being dirty or not dirty, but just worn kind of adds personality to them. Finding Doc Martens secondhand just like does not happen. They are just so perfect. They're perfect for fall. They're perfect for all the time. It's literally the best find out of this entire video. I mean, I love every single item, but I was most excited to share this with you guys because I feel like we all are kind of the same in the things that we like and you know how hard it is to thrift Doc Martens. So yes, very happy. Honestly, I think this was my favorite thrift haul I have done in the past like month or so i don't know i just really love every single item every single item it's kind of like a collective haul because i've purchased all of these probably in the past like month here and there at just random times i've gone thrifting looked at thread up looked at poshmark but let me know in the comments down below which trend that you're really liking for fall i feel like the biggest trend of fall and this year is loungewear and wearing a face mask which i'm totally down with i don't know about you just needing some sort of refresh i feel like this fall is kind of the time to do it and with october approaching very fast which is also crazy this is kind of one of my like first fall videos and it's like halfway through September. I don't know, I feel like the calendar and time is all over the place, but it always amazes me that I can find like trendy, you know, quote unquote trends 
at the thrift store or like secondhand. For a long time, a lot of people looked at thrift stores as like grandma clothes, which I'm also all for grandma clothes. But if you're one of those people that likes a little bit like trendier, like mainstream type of clothes, hopefully this inspired you guys to check out your local thrift store or to thrift online. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys do like thrifting and secondhand fashion, make sure to subscribe right down below and hit that little bell to be notified every time I make a new video. And also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, alexandrine 83 to keep up to date with me during the week. I will see you guys on Sunday with a brand new Sunday Sunday video. Enjoy life, be happy, and I love you lots. Bye!